Yes. Oh, yes. You're the prodigy. Hmm. I was expecting something else. I hope you're aware of what you're getting yourself into. Our novices train for years for this trial. And as much as I respect the Grand Master, I think this is naive. In other words, it will be dangerous. Be aware of that. How selfless of you. But as you wish. Ah, then it seems I'm granted the extraordinary honor of exalting the first pathless in the history of the Order to a Keeper. The others will scream for joy. <sighs> Give me the package the Grand Master gave you and say hello to your new comrades. I have to go prepare something. What? Oh, hello. You're our... Unexpected addition, aren't you? The prodigy? Interesting. I'm Kalia Sakarish, by my path, novice and aspirant to the first sigil. I have been told what you did in Old Rationgrad, that you saved the excavations and fought back the mercenaries all on your own. An astonishing feat, truly. You have my respect for that. I know, but you tried. You know, I'm really curious as to what the mercenaries thought they were doing. Anyway, it's been an honor to meet you in person. Let's talk later. I don't want to hear it. You're prattling. I don't want to hear it. Just shove off. Heretics. All right, enough of the chatter. Come here. Here. These potions will be necessary later, so be careful with uh, them. Uh, Apart from that, it's still a few miles to the ritual place. As you're all gifted with magic, the spores in the forest ahead will make you a little dizzy. But we won't stay for long. Any questions? <sighs> long story. Simply put, they come from a special kind of mushroom that has infested this forest, and staying near them worsens the Arcanist's fever. So, in case you're thinking about exploring further, take some magical protection and some ambrosia with you. Good. Stay close to me. City's rat holes instead. Get ready. Careful. He's probably just a traveler. 
He shouldn't be here. No merchant in his right mind would voluntarily travel through the Whispering Forest. We'll go take a look. She's with me now. Forever. Kirash. What? You there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? She's with me now. Forever. What are you, deaf? Identify yourself. His eyes. Master, this is the Red Madness. Shit, of course. You will put away that pickaxe right now, my sir, and then get on your knees. She wanted to leave. Don't you understand? She wanted to leave me. Just like that. This is now, disgusting. She will stay. She will get out. By the righteous paths. Have you lost your mind? I could ask you the same thing, damn it. Did you forget what Magister Yero did to the novices? This man could have attacked us at any moment. Oh, really? Malthus protect us from your cunning. But did the thought ever cross your mind that one needs to understand a disease in order to heal it? And that some apothecary might have given their left hand for a living patient? This... you're not being fair, Master. I... I was only protecting us. Like heck you did. You behaved like an idiot. And not for the first time. The other Masters might ignore that fact due to your religious commitment and your bloodline. I get that. But if something like this ever happens again, you will be suspended from the rites and will spend the rest of your life polishing prayer banks in the Sanctum. Do I make myself clear? He really was trying to protect us, Master. Maybe... Do I make myself clear? You... You do, Master. And I beg your forgiveness for my offense. <sighs> Granted. Now let's push on. We will take care of the body after the ritual. Are you okay? Just save it. Here it is, the first foothold. This is where Malthus's vassals erected their first camp. So behave yourselves accordingly. You too, prodigy. Well then, before we start, there's something I need to tell you. Something, uh, important. The rumors concerning the deaths of the Lightborn, they're true. What? The gods are dead. They fell two winters ago beneath the sword of an unknown traveler. We, uh, that is, the Order, have known about this for quite some time now, but haven't told the common people yet. But since the two, the three of you intend to take the trial, there's no way to disguise the truth anymore. But... how can a god die? Uh, there was a prophecy, as old as the Lightborn themselves, in which there was talk of a shadow god, who would end the era of gods. And it came true. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're telling us that the gods have been killed, and you are sorry. What's next? That tomorrow the sun will stop shining? Tell us that, that this is a test, Master. It is, isn't it? A test of our faith. No, the Lightborn are dead. But, hard as it may be to accept, we cannot afford we? to fall into a spiritual crisis right now. We... The Order of the Gods, Malthus's order was created to protect the Lightborn. And if what you're saying, this, 
this blasphemy is true, then we're meaningless. We failed, don't you see that? Oh, by the Black Guardian, I, I just can't believe it. And though I shan't be seen, thou shalt live by my virtue. Third Revelation, verse 137. I know it's hard, Dunmar, but if this is true, we have to show strength and keep on believing in what the Lightborn stood for. Which is the idea of peace and... Oh, just shut your mouth, Sakaresh. If anything, you lowborn scum are living proof that the Order is going downhill. Do you really think I don't know about the village? You're a damned witch, and if this were the old times, you would have been crucified long time ago. You don't mean that, Dunmar. Drop it, for heaven's sake! We're all on the same side here. No, we are not. This wench doesn't have any right to wear the white robes. And if you would spend more time with the holy scriptures instead of your brandy bottle, you would see it as well. But no, you just... Shut up! I swear to you, one more word and you will wish that I just suspended you. But... No buts! Do you understand? Yes. <sighs> I hope so, for your sake. <sighs> Just be glad that this is a time when we need skilled mages more than ever. Just be glad. Now enough of this. Our demeanor defiles this sacred place. There will be enough time for depression and personal crisis after the trial. Let's recite the holy words. Thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament, and thy path I will honor. In life, as in death. May, May your light, your guide, light me. guide me. Good. As you know, this trial will test the fortitude of your spirit. Because this is what... Um, Distinguishes a keeper from a soldier. What distinguishes a wise man from a fool? Keep that in mind. Now, drink the potion I gave you. You first, prodigy. Let's hope the Grand Master was right about you. Oh no, 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 I knew I wouldn't be the last one. Did they also tell you the tales about the Keeper's spirit? They've lured you into a trap, you know, and you fell for it, because you're arrogant, just as I am, as I was. You're right, I'm not real. At least not according to your definition of the word. But then again, what is reality anyway? If I told you that you and your friend Sirius actually lie dead at the bottom of the sea, and that everything that has happened so far, your journey to Ark, the search at the Sun Coast, was only a dream, would you be able to recognize the truth? The answer is no, because you don't want to be dead. Therefore, your mind will do anything to make you believe this entire dream you've had was and is reality. <sighs> Doesn't it? Tell me, what is time to the dead and dreaming anyway? A self-created sanctuary built from nothing but your wishes. But what's the point in talking anyway? What? They haven't told you about him? Oh, that's so typical. The suppressor. He's the reason why we will be imprisoned here forever. And why we can't access our feelings and wishes. And he does it because he wants us to lose hope. To stop believing. 
and you know sometimes I wonder if that's exactly what we humans are, what I have to do to finally be free give up but no no not yet yeah yeah I'll wait and you will wait with me forever What the? How did you do that? You... You simply opened it? But that's impossible. All these years it's kept me from escaping and, and you just... Come, come on. We... We have to look. We, we have to look and see what's outside. We won't get far, but... These are the scourges of the suppressor. They want to punish us. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go. After all, I mean... Yeah. Yes, the cell is small. At least it's safe. We should never have left. 
This will be our doom. Oh no. No, no, no. no. Do you see it? All the cells. They're all empty. And there's blood. Oh no. There are people in there. They didn't know their place either. And now they're dead. Dissolved. They dare disobey the suppressor. By the gods. This is what will happen to us, too. I knew it was a mistake to leave in the first place. I just knew it. You see, we're, we're back where we... St <laughs> Suppress his punishment. It will be horrible. Ugh. Of course I'm a part of you, and you are a part of me. Isn't that obvious? But I should have known you wouldn't understand. No, you haven't. Because you're blind. But I should have known. I mean, what can you expect from someone who has killed his entire family? I followed you because for a brief moment, you made me want to believe, and now you've dragged me into the abyss along with you. No, there isn't. Just look at us. Look at what we are. We are the damned because we are trapped too deeply in the past, and that's why we do not deserve freedom. Well, well. So you figured it out? <laughs> yes. I am what keeps you in this place. But was it blind rage that made you act, or have you truly understood who I am? Have you understood what drives you and determines your actions? The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is cold. But you still haven't found it, child, have you?
Oh, hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? Good question. The room was empty when I came here. Actually, that's quite weird, now that you mention it. The entire temple seemed kind of... deserted. But, eh, probably a ceremony or something like that. Now, tell me, how are you holding up? I heard this trial's quite the feat. Apparently, some of the novices never wake up again. In the temple. The Curarium, to be precise. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think the others are already awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? I believe congratulations are in order. Well, you shouldn't. Do you know why? Because you're pathetic. Simply pathetic. I said you are pathetic. At first, we believed it would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. A nobody who let his only friend kick the bucket. As if you'd ever accept that. You humans are always so damn persistent, aren't you? Why? Why can't you just let go? Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. And you, Prophetess, you are the biggest joke of all. You are nothing but an urchin. A weakling. And a murderer. And that is why you will burn. All of you. The cleansing will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. What have you done to us? You are so naive. The world is an interplay of cause and effect, and the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. But enough of the banter, urgent. We wanted to meet you, and so we did, even though the result is rather sobering. Now wake up! Thank Malthus. I was starting to think I was the only one. How are you? You look exhausted. You did. That's probably one of the after effects of the potion, but it will pass, I'm sure of it. But it's good to see the Grandmaster was right after all. I woke up just a few hours earlier, and he was here in the meantime. He didn't doubt for a single second that you would make it. But I suppose mutual congratulations are in order. We made it. We passed the trial. Almost, yes. All that is left to do is to take the oath, and then Grandmaster Aranthiel will exalt us to the Keepers of the First Sigil. Speaking of whom, he also told me some things while you were asleep. About the Pyreans, about these dreams, and of course, about this... cycle. <sighs> this is so bizarre, really. At first we're told out of nowhere that the gods have died, and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. This is a lot to take in. Hard to say. I never had those dreams the Grandmaster talked about, even though I'm magically gifted. But then again, I always had the feeling that the Red Madness was more than an ordinary disease. At least now I can understand why the Grandmaster was willing to break all the traditions of the Order just to get you exalted to be a Keeper. According to him, most of our battle against the Cycle will stand or fall with you. Well, as I said, we both have to take the Holy Oath. You should talk to the Grandmaster as soon as you're ready. He's waiting for you in the Emporium. Right. Dunwar. The Apothecary examined him about an hour ago, and it doesn't look good. It's likely that he'll never wake up again. No, in spite of everything. You know, Dunwar was one of those people who tried to gild their insecurity with boastful behavior. The reality is that he was the last of his bloodline, 
and his faith in the path and his destiny as a keeper were all that he had left. But I guess Master Bartar's revelation was just too much for him. It's hard to be told that everything you've lived for was a lie. Well, maybe I just don't show it as much. But yes, in a way, you're probably right. I suppose that's mainly due to the fact that to me, as opposed to Dunwar, the Order always stood for an idea. Funny that the Grandmaster said nearly the same thing during the Exaltation. Dunwar would have considered it blasphemy. That's true. A lot of crimes were committed during the Lightborn's reign, and I don't want to minimize that. But I also think a lot of those crimes were... unavoidable, so to speak. Imagine you're the king of a small island, and one day your realm gets attacked by a fleet of Scarag Reavers. The invasion catches you completely off guard, and within a few hours, the Reavers have advanced to the farmland, just a few feet from your city's main gates. And before you know it, you have to make a decision. Will you use the time that remains to entrench your army within the city's walls to have a better chance of surviving a siege? Or, do you send them into the field to fight the Reavers there, knowing that there is only a slight chance to save the farmers, but a big risk that you will lose both the city and the farmers? It would, yes. But what if your foray fails, and ends up being the reason why the Scarig can break through the city's fortifications? What I'm trying to say is, it doesn't matter what you do. There will be people who will despise you for your decision. If your attempt to rescue the farmers fails, you will be accused of having acted blindly and idealistically. And if you just stay in the city, they will say you didn't even try. Of course, there's a small chance the foray might work, but should decisions like that really be made as if they were a game of dice? As I said, I don't mean to absolve the Lightborn of their crimes, but I'd wager my left hand that they had a lot of similar decisions to make. Hmm. I knew the question would come eventually. I suppose the answer depends on whether you're in the mood for some gloomy talk. Sooner or later you'll hear it from someone else anyway, so... Why not from me first? As you wish. I... <sighs> Where should I start? Maybe with the fact that I don't remember anything that happened before my sixth winter. I don't know where I was born, and I never got to know my parents. I wish I knew. What I do know, though, is that the first memory I have is of waking up in the middle of some village. It was dark, and I felt dizzy, and... I don't know. Empty? That's probably the best way to describe it. I eventually found the strength to get up and look around, and... Well, that's when I realized what was actually going on around me. The entire village. It had been destroyed. There were corpses everywhere. Men, women, children. And the houses had been crushed as if some mad god had rampaged through the streets there. And it had all just happened hours before, because the destruction was still fresh. Whatever it was, I didn't have much time to think about it. As soon as I got up, I saw three riders coming through the smoke. One of them got off his horse, ran towards one of the corpses, and started screaming something in my direction. Then I felt a blow on the back of my head, and I lost consciousness. By the name of the sun, it's... It's strange to talk about it like this. It's been so long, but the memory feels as if it had happened yesterday. It's okay. Anyway, it turned out that the riders were men from the village who had gone hunting. They must have observed the... whatever it was from the distance, and ridden back to the village. At least I think that's how it went. I guess I'll never find out. The reason they thought I was somehow involved is that the village priest found me a couple of days before it happened near a shrine in the wilderness. Apparently, I was wearing torn clothing, and no matter what the apothecary tried, he couldn't wake me up from my comatose sleep. And it seems that made the writers think I was some kind of witch child, or unholy beast, whichever you prefer. Probably. Truth be told, I try not to think about it too much. I even made it to Ark all by myself. 
which didn't turn out to be much of an improvement in the end because I was pathless. Yes. Thinking about it now, I actually wonder how I made it through my time down there. Still, the winters down there were cruel, and if Master Tyrus hadn't found and taken care of me, I probably wouldn't have made it through my second year. Yes, otherwise I would not be here. He saw me, and he knew what he had to do, is how he put it. Of course, the Order wasn't too happy about a pathless child in the Scuola, just as some aren't happy about you being here. But Tyrus was a highly regarded man, and that's why they let it slide. That's right, we do, but we are both still pathless, and that disqualifies us according to the Holy Verses. I guess now you understand why I was never as connected to Malthus's teaching as Dunwar was. To some of the Keepers, I am still an outcast, and no matter what I do, I always will be. Yes, and now I'm here. <sighs> well, here we've reached the end of my impressive tale. I hope you liked it. Gone. He was very old, and there was nothing anyone could do about it. But I'd, I'd prefer not to talk about it, if you don't mind. No, I guess I'm not. He does, yes, and he's not alone in his opinion. One of those hunters recognized me in the market my first year as a novice, and you can imagine that it was easy pickings for those who were already against my presence in the Order. From then on, they added names to the derogatory stairs. Demon Child, Witch, whatever they could come up with. Maybe, but everything I'm capable of is the fruit of hard work, though they will never acknowledge that. You know what's funny? To some extent, I'm glad to be who I am. That way, people just leave me alone, and that gives me more time to focus on what's important. On my goals. Several. But I'd say that's enough of the gloomy stories, don't you think? There will be plenty of time for chatter in the future. Maybe. You should. It's already late, but if you want, I can show you the most important places in the temple before you go to the Emporium. What do you think? Good. Then get- Well then, let's- All right, this is the Sanctum. It's a place of silence and prayer, and also where we'll be exalted later. That one. Mm. Well, where did I... My glimmer has the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament, and thy power I will honor.
yes. Okay, I think you've seen this place before. We call this part of the temple the Chronicum, and in here is gathered the knowledge of the Order, written down in books and parchments. Plus, all of the experiments and research on artifacts and magic is done here. So it's a place you'll probably see often in the near future. Ah, and just below the Chronicum is the Temple Smithy. You should go there if you need equipment. Over there, that's the Scuola and the Quarters, where both the Keepers and the Novices live. There's also a training room where everything from swordplay to marksmanship can be trained and taught. You will find some skilled teachers there. Well, I think that's about it. You've already been to the Emporium and prepare myself, probably. Now walk blessed. I will see you soon.